Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about Baker cysts, what they are, and particularly how to manage them after knee replacement surgery. Hey everyone, so in this episode we're talking about Baker cysts. Um, you may also hear these referred to as popliteal cysts. And basically what a Baker cyst or popliteal cyst is, it is a cyst or a fluid-filled bulge or fluid-filled cyst or sac or area that is going to be right behind your knee. So right in the back of your knee where that crease is, where that popliteal crease is, you have this fluid-filled sac it kind of feels like a bulge. It might be a little bit firm for some people. Um, you most also might have a feeling of tightness, um, and it can lead to some pain and discomfort. It can lead to range of motion problems and just kind of general um, unsatisfactory functioning of your knee. And the reason this occurs potentially, um, what they think is that your body and your knee might produce too much of the lubricating fluid that you normally see in knees. So this is called the synovial fluid, which is present in all the articulating joints of your body, your shoulders, your knees, your hips. But um, this fluid somehow is overproduced and ends up in the um, bursa or the sac that is in the back of your knee and fills up and causes this, this uh, fluid filled sac, this bulge. And so what we want to look at is particularly, well, um, this can mimic the symptoms and signs and symptoms of this can mimic some other um, more serious things such as like a blood clot or an aneurysm or even a tumor. So your doctor, your surgeon might want to do some follow-up just to make sure it's not any of those things. So they might do an ultrasound, they might do x-rays, MRI, um, things of that nature, just to rule out anything more serious. Now, typically, having a Baker cyst after knee replacement surgery is relatively rare. Um, one study I looked at showed that the rate was less than 1%, so they had the rate at 0.6%. So it's relatively rare to have. And typically, if you do get a Baker cyst, it's going to occur um, within one year, um, some cases within two years, but typically within one year after you have knee replacement surgery. And so the management of the Baker cyst, so typically the first thing to do is just conservative treatment. So basically just um, active observation, um, keeping an eye on it, so to speak. And a lot of times, just over time, it will diminish and... Um, the fluid will kind of move out of that area all by itself or just by taking care of, you know, doing your normal recovery and normal activities after knee replacement surgery, um, you'll notice that the Baker cyst might resolve on its own. If it continues to be an issue, um, the next step would be to consider a injection. So you can either have a cortisone injection to relieve inflammation, relieve pain um, and discomfort, or you might actually have an injection to aspirate, to take the fluid out of that area. Um, of course, with both of those treatments, you want to make sure you're addressing the underlying issue. So you're addressing the, um, you know, you might have a lot of swelling, you might have a lot of inflammation around the knee. Um, so you want to address that issue, of course, through exercise, physical activity, physical therapy treatment. And then if those treatments are unsuccessful the last resort would be surgery so you can have surgery to remove the cyst from the knee um, in some cases people who had knee replacement surgery might actually also have a revision surgery um, typically it's not just due to the baker cyst it might be a combination of different things that are leading to the um, your surgeon recommending a revision and sometimes just having the revision surgery can um, alleviate the baker cyst and the problems from the cyst um, in some cases, they may actually have the revision surgery plus resection or removal of the cyst as well. So that's kind of your last resort option if it doesn't clear up on its own or through um, aspiration, through injections. So 
the thing to keep in mind is that Baker's cysts are something that can occur after knee replacement surgery, but actual true Baker cysts are actually relatively rare. And in most cases, they're going to clear up on their own over time as you're recovering and going through your um, physical therapy and exercises after surgery. But in some cases, some um, more active, more um, invasive procedures might be necessary, and that might be the aspiration. It might be surgery as a last resort as well. So thank you very much for watching everyone. This video has been all about Baker cysts or popliteal cysts. And um, thank you very much for watching. Of course, as always, please subscribe. Um, I post videos daily and leave your comments and questions and I'll be sure to get back to you in a timely manner. Have a great rest of your day.